Here with head coach Cammie Etheridge. Coach, just opening thoughts after today's 69-59 comeback win over Colorado. Just so happy for this team. I, I think it's kind of a statement game for us. We haven't really won a game like this, uh, being down 13 or 15 and come back and, and played so well in the second half and finally kind of cracked their zone a little bit that stymied us so much in the first half. So just love the attitude, love the determination, love the toughness that we showed and the persevering. So it's just a, it's a really good uh feeling and I'm happy for our players to have had some success. What was your message to the team at the half going in there? You guys were down by 13 points. At one point you were down 15 in the third quarter. Then you really turned it around midway through that frame uh, to pull with and four going into the fourth. Just what was the message? What were you telling your team just during the halftime and during that third quarter? Well, if I, I, don't, I think I was pretty calm. I did kind of tell Nell that I thought we were headless out there, so I needed her to get control of our, of our offense. And, and uh, again, their zone is so unique, and we don't see something like that. They're linked. They're quick. Um, they're very disciplined in what they do. And we don't – you know, our personnel just got a little mixed up with Ula being out of the game. Um, and we just made some bad decisions and bad plays against it, and it gave them a lot of momentum. Um, and it just took us a – again, I thought Nell came out in the third quarter and just decided she was going to put us on her back a little bit and get the ball where it needed to get. And, and again, I don't think we were great against it, but we just started making a few plays which and held them. I think that was the big point. Just came out and, and played a much better defensive game plan, rebounded better. So I think the message at half was I thought we could get back in this game, and um, but we had to rebound and we had to guard them a little bit better and, and at some point figure out their zone. Um, you guys gave up 38 points in the first half and just 21 in the second. So what changed defensively? Well, we just, you know, we made mistakes in the first half. Um, we let uh, Sherrod get downhill on her right hand uh, a number of times. I mean, she is a jet, and she is so good, and it's going to be just a nightmare to guard from here on out. Um, and then we made the two threes that Hollingshed got were mistakes on our part and how we wanted to guard. So, and especially that last one that was that took it to 13 right before half, it felt like, you know, it was a – 16 point shot and uh, so we just seemed to make some mistakes and then we were very soft in our post defense and let them catch a little bit too deep so we wanted to front we wanted to be a little bit more physical we needed our guards to pressure them a little bit more and not let them catch wherever they wanted so it was just a stay with what we want to do but do it a little bit better and um, and obviously not let people get to what they want to do best which was um, obviously for sh um, hauling shed not giving her the three was big for us Coach, what can you say about Chanel Molina's second half performance? Uh, there at one point, she scored 11 straight points. She scored 23 points in the final 20 minutes to really lead the charge. Just thoughts or just comments on her play? And Well, I would just put her and, and Bobby in the same boat. You know, I, I think this time of year in February when you start getting into March, you see uh, seniors – that are really good turn into really special players and they play with an abandon uh, you know just just not worried about things they know they have to carry the team they're not going to let their team lose they're going to their will kind of overshadows other people on the court and i think you know maybe maybe that's what you're seeing a little bit more in Nell and certainly in Bobby in the fourth quarter is that we need them to lead us we need them to to be that determination and, and passion and and the grit that we need them to be on a game in and game out. And they don't have very many chances left. And I just think uh, those two players understand that and uh, they're making the most of their opportunities now.